Hello and welcome. We are back with another series. This time, Vue.js full stack web development. So as you know, previously we re I recorded a video and said which course you want me to cover next. So from the title here, I just pull a Mailchimp here. You could select one of the title, and here is the result. So I have uh, exported the Excel file, and the result said that 45 people out of 156 voted for uh, Vue.js web development. So I think Vue has a lot of fun, that's why they got a lot of requests for Vue full stack development. That's why I will cover this one now and next up we will focus on Laravel relational database. For now let's go and see what we are going to build. So here we will use of course Vue the latest version. And before I start telling you what I am going to build, I just want to ask you like if you like my content please share it with the, uh, your friend if you have a facebook group if you have a facebook page you yourself please share it for people so that uh, more people can reach to it and they can learn from what i am going to teach because what i will teach you cannot find such free content on the internet maybe you find on udemy and you can pay for it but i teach it for free if you want to support me just share the video with your friend so of course i need 200 likes for this video and then i will start sharing the video of course i don't need the like i will start recording the video today and then i will wait for uh, the people to reach out and then i will start uploading the video for you so this is going to be uh, a lot of uh, stuff you are going to learn in this video series so here is what we are going to build i will build an e-commerce website first i will teach you the basic of vue.js then we will build an e-commerce website where you can sell your product basically the reason i make an e-commerce website is that you can learn how to interact with database stuff like that how you can create authentication with pure javascript that is what uh, i mean you should learn how you can do, do this stuff for the back end we use firebase or aws i will pick one of them of course i am a big fan of aws but it does not mean uh we should use this one firebase is also a great service that you can use but for aws i have another video coming soon that is for developers if you have no idea how you use aws and which service you want to use i have a video where i will explain the services that you need to use for your application and why you have to use it and why it is the future of every developer to have the knowledge of aws so that is the next video but for now we will use one of these firebase or aws as a backend and uh, for the payment system, I will use Stripe. Of course, uh, Stripe is a uh, very nice API with the accept payment. And the reason I use this is that you can use a test account for this one to accept payment. And they are going to, if you use for production or, or also, if your customer pay, then they cut their price. And they have some different plan also. So uh, we can use their testing account. We can learn how you can store those information in database you know, either it is an AW service their database services or firebase so that is a lot to learn in this course so i hope this course is going to be something informative that you can learn and that's it for this video and again if you like my content please share it with your friends so that they can reach and i just get uh, more views and they can get benefit from the courses i create so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching